and welcome to Little Workroom Crafts Extra. <laughs> My name is Davina and I live in the south east coast of the UK. Today is Friday the 7th of January 2022. I thought I'd pop on today just to remind people about the um, the cows that are going on because there's a knit along that started this morning and also a crochet along which I mentioned, mentioned in Monday's podcast. But I thought I'd just recap. I've printed everything off so I can um, show you everything what they look like and I've got a question that needs to be answered as well so I thought I would show that today and oh and I've got a little bit of um, something to tell you about um, my Etsy shop okay then right so let's hop right into the cows shall we first of all as you all know I have been eagerly waiting for this one since last year <laughs> And it is Lucy, bless her heart, has done it again. And she has launched the Harbour Blanket crochet along this morning. I've already printed everything off. But as I have said, I am not going to be buying the yarn pack like I normally do. Because this year I am just using everything for what I have got in my little room. And as you saw in Vlogmas, I have a quite a bit of style craft. So I won't be following the, the Pacific colours, but I love the pattern. So I have got my jumper, my stripy jumper off the needles, ready to start this cowl today. <laughs> so excited. <laughs> now, I did take a screenshot of it. So I'm going to pop the screenshot of the actual harbour blanket here. And that is done with the actual yarn pack that you can buy from War Warehouse. And uh, they did say, was it yesterday or the day before, that they have got some more in stock because, as always, they run out. But... This morning she launched the pattern. So if you go over to her blog, it's free as always. And you scroll down and there, right at the bottom part um, of the, the section of the blog that she launched this morning, there has got where you can print off, uh, you know, the pattern and the uh, yarn order. Because what she does is... She launches the pattern today, obviously, so we can do it. And then the yarn order she'll do every week on Friday. Okay, so I have to say, I've printed everything off so I can show you. So this is week one of the yarn order. But she's also done it as a mixed stripe. And she's done it as a colour wash. Just like the meadow, we had two options. I did the one that she did. So, um, yeah. So, if anybody is going to get the yarn pack, this is what you need to get every week. So, this week, you'll put on the 15 different colours. And then, by next Friday, she will launch another 15 different colours. But this is the pattern. It is two pages. Um, these are the actual colours that she used. I'm going to try and match the best I can, to be honest. I know I've got some of them already so you know I've, I've already got two of the lipstick and i've got spice and so on so you know there is a couple i think that I, oh, i've definitely got that one as well uh that i haven't got but i'll just match them as best i can now the only little bit of advice i am going to give which i've always done with my crochet is obviously she uses her uh four mil hook has she gone from four mil hook she normally does with stylecraft Oh, come on, Lucy, where is your... Why should you not look at this before? Attention size, measurements... Oh, right, we're actually making a... The measurement of the blanket is for a single bed size. Um, there's 1,500 gram balls. Well, I've definitely got more than that. Um, <laughs> and she does give you instructions on how to... Um, if you want to make it bigger, the actual chain count, what you plus. Oh, wow. Now, that is a very unusual. I cannot see a hook size. It's got to be on here somewhere. Anyway, I'm going to use a four mil hook. That's what I always use with my DK, uh, my Stylecraft special. But what I'm trying to get to is my foundation chain. I always do with a 4.5. Now, what is her first row? She goes right into the pattern. That's fine. 
So what the reason why I do that, when you're actually doing a straight across like that blanket, you will find that the bottom is going to be that little fraction tighter than the top. OK, for when you're finished, I know when you put your board around, sometimes it can shape up, a, a, you know, can pull it out a bit. But I don't want to risk that after doing all that work. So I always do my chain with a 4.5 mil. Then I go down to a four mil hook always to do the actual stitching. So that chain is just that little bit looser. So that would be my advice to everybody is to do it that way. OK, then. Right. So I'm hoping on Monday, well, I'm hoping to be able to start this this afternoon. And then on Monday, I will show you my progress. And I also will show you as, as best I can, because a lot of my balls ain't got um, colour band. You've got wall bands on them anymore, but I can work out some of the colours, I think. Is um, yeah, so you know, I'll try and let you know exactly what color way I'm what colors I'm using, and what I will do is actually with this first one here, I am will actually do um, my equivalent. That's what I'll do, actually. That's a good idea. I have them occasionally. <laughs> uh, is do um, my equivalent of what I'm using here, then I'll still print off this piece every week, and then I can put my colors in order. That'd be sensible, wouldn't it? Okay, then, right. So, and the next cow, which started today, which is a knit along, is from the lovely Christine Perry from uh, Winwick Mum. And it's another free pattern on her blog, which, yet again, I have printed off. And these are amazing, absolutely amazing. The Easy Mosaic Socks. And she's actually got here, if you're always wanted to create striking multicoloured patterns in your socks, but have never wanted to knit with one, more than one yarn at once, the Easy Mosaic socks are for you. So, you know, we have got, there's a clever construction using slip stitches, uh, gives these socks the look of colour work without all the tangling. So, you know what I mean? She's done it again, and she is our Christine. She also has, um, which she's put up as well, her tutorial for this. So she's covered everything. And yeah, I can't wait to get these on the needles either. And what I'm thinking of doing, because since I managed to work out how to knit socks with DPNs, I've done all my socks on DPNs. As you know, I've got my Hope socks on the needles on my DPNs. And I'm thinking with this, I am going to actually give this a go back to my little mini circulars and try these on my mini circulars. Because, you know, I've just got the urge. <laughs> and it doesn't matter how many times I try and do Magic Loop, I just can't do that. I really can't. Uh, but yes, so that is the other, next one. I am, you know, as you know, with the Attic 24, I'm doing the blanket but not in the actual colours because I'm using stash. And this, I just love this. So I am going to cast these on as well later on. I am keeping up with my adding my square a day. So with my memory blanket, which I'm really, really chuffed about. And that's really growing now. I've more than halfway through my third row. So I'm really, really chuffed with that. And as I say, my jumper's finished. I haven't done my cross stitch for a few days, I will say. But I'm eager to get these two on the hook and on the needles so I can't wait I've got me me bag ready for me blanket and I'll have to get a bag out for my socks Excited. and then go through my stash and see what I've got now I did get a question on Monday and I thought well I'll wait until today to um, answer it and I forgive me please I can't remember um, who it was who asked the question has sent a message saying that um, she's ordered a uh, knitting journal from, I can't remember if she said it was from Amazon or somewhere, and um, she's not happy with it. And she remembered on my Vlogmas that I actually got gifted one from a lovely friend, Pam. So um, I'm going to show what one it is. And I know that Pam did get this from Amazon and obviously it was delivered to me, but this is it. And it's just the knitting journal, but it's got here Stephanie Perla McPhee. Because inside you have um, a different saying from Stephanie per Pearl McPhee. Uh, it's a beautiful, absolutely beautiful um, 
knitting journal. I, I'm loving it. Um, I've got my Hope socks in there on the go, but I also did, because when I finished it, I filled everything in to put my stripe jumper. So there's all the yarn I used. And I only put in the main label, and now I've got to either get a photograph of it or I'll try and draw, or I'll get my daughter to draw me a picture, actually. I might do that. <laughs> um, but, yeah, there's all the info, all what I changed and everything. But I'm going to show, and I'll talk all about that on Monday. But this knitting journal is absolutely amazing. So when I actually cast these two on, if I do them both this afternoon, they'll both go in here as um, starts. And I'm thoroughly enjoying doing this. I really am. It is a lovely, lovely journal. But I am going to be using it for knitting and my crochet. I'm going to be doing both in there. Because I think, it's be, for me, it's easier having the one book <laughs> than it is having two. So, yep, I'm going to do everything in here. So, this is it. Okay, then, right. So, just one more little thing and then I'm going to leave you all in peace. I have been extremely busy up here in, in the uh, little workroom this week and I have got quite a big update going in the shop. Now, I have got some project bags, um, DPN cosies, and I have got the two-in-one yarn cosies and the the pair of dumpies in different fabrics, obviously. Um, I think there's a, one, I think, of the dumpies that have been before, but the rest are new. So... Um, Yep, they'll all be going in. I'm hoping, fingers crossed, to get them photographed and uploaded at the weekend. I will be giving you more information about that on Monday and let everybody know that they're all in there. Uh, but yeah, there is a lot to photograph and to upload. But I am just going to say, um, and I am apologising about this um, in advance but the thing is I am worried silly about this postage situation I know that there's other there's friends of mine that have got other shops you know that dye yarn and stuff like that that have had things going missing and, and so on but as you all know everybody in the UK get free postage I cover the postage so what I have decided to do is Anything now in the shop is going to have a £1.50 postage. I am still going to pay the standard second class, which is what I've always done. But I am going to be sending them second class tracked. And that is where the £1.50 comes into it, because that is literally how much extra it is to send a parcel um, tracked second class. So all the parcels are going to be going, as always, second class, but they're going to have tracked on them now. So I can keep an eye on everything and we're covered. You know, we, we are more covered. At the moment, I'm sending stuff everywhere that, are uh, you know, it, it could get lost and I've got no idea, literally no idea. Even though I get a proof of posting, it doesn't do anything when it comes to uh, Royal Mail, unfortunately. So... I'm just explaining to you what the £1.50 postage is from now on that's going to be in the Etsy shop. Now, I'm sorry that I've had to do this, but as I said, that £1.50 is going to cover the second class tracking, okay? I'm still going to do the other half, and this half, the £1.50 half is going to be for um so we can all keep an eye on uh what's going on so if anybody that want that buys anything that would like the tracking number after i have sent it off you are more than welcome that you know i i don't mind sending that on at all all international um america canada and australia are, are just staying the same because you cover everything because all yours already go tracked so I'm happy with that, so I can keep an eye on everything, where, where everything goes. Um, but as I say, here in the UK, things are getting a little bit um, up and down. We haven't had a postman here for about three days um, today, and I'm expecting a parcel from a lovely friend that I haven't received. And yeah, so, you know, <laughs> I've ordered my daughter's birthday um present for next week and I, I don't think that will be here on time so you know it is hard it is hard at the moment I understand the situation and I understand you know their difficulties with people being off and so on but <laughs> you know I do apologize in advance and but I'm just explaining to you what the one pound fifty postage is it's going to be tracked 
but still second class. Okay then, right, so I hope everybody's going to be okay with that. Please leave some feedback, you know, if there is any um, problems or, you know, if you are okay, it would be nice. <laughs> and um, I'm going to see you all on Monday, as always, for the um, normal routine of podcast. What I'm going to start doing just quickly is putting these little extras in their own playlist. So it'll be for this year. So it's going to be um, a playlist. Uh, what can I call the playlist? Because they have to have names, don't they? I'll just call it, you know, extra information. That's what I'll do. Extra information in the playlist. So then, you know, if anybody wants to go back and see about the uh, the crochet and the knitting along and so on, it's all going to be there and easy for you to find. Okay, then, right. So I will see you all on Monday. So please take care, stay safe. And as always, happy crafting. Bye.